Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be printing this out. This is a three-dimensional calibration tool that I came across on Thingiverse that I find that, that was pretty interesting. So the idea is, is you print it, and it's scaled, I believe, to 10 centimeters or um, 1,000 millimeters on each side. And then plus, it's got several test holes, both vertically and horizontally. And the idea is, is that you'll take... Um, a metal scale such as this, this metal machinist square, which is I have in metric here, and to measure these out. So, tell you what we'll do. Let's go take a time lapse of this, and we'll check it out, and then we'll take it back to the bench, and we'll measure it up, see how it stacks out. The idea is, is you should be able to calculate um, how far your settings are off, and so really looking forward to seeing how this this worked out because. The one thing I have noticed right off the bat is the 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 flat holes, you know, in the X and Y came out pretty good. However, the um, in the Z the holes not so good. So um, not sure. So now I did print this uh, 205 degrees uh, C uh, with clear PLA, uh, 0.2 layer height. Um, I think 40 millimeters a second. Um, can't remember 10 to 20 percent infill so not a huge infill on this uh, all in all it came out pretty good so so pleased with that so anyways let's do the time lapse we'll take it back to the bench measure it up and we'll get calibers out and everything and we'll see how it does so time lapse So we've taken this off the bed of the the Wanhao, and um, let's do some measuring. Let's let's see how the Wanhao performed. So in the Y axis, um, it's a little bit hard to see where. Um, Actually, let's try it this way. Put it at the origin of the Y. And it looks like we're about one, approximately one or one half millimeter off um, on the Y. And I kind of knew that because you might remember back to the... Um, not sure the order I'm going to show these, but um, one of the things on the back side of the Apple Pencil video, um, which would be the Y-axis, there's a little bit of disorientation. And I think that's actually part of the problem. I'm not sure, but... Um, also, don't tell anybody you saw the Apple Pencil thing unless I put that video out first. So I'm kind of curious. What I want to do is take a look at this. So this should be 10 centimeters. So I'm reading 9 in the X, and I'm reading 9.4 in the Y. Well, now, now that I turn it, it's staying about the same. I don't know if you can, hopefully you can see that, because I'm holding pressure. So that's about the same. So I would think if it was off substantially this way, let me see if I can get this again. Because there's there, there's the access and then there's the mark. So the access isn't the mark. The mark is past the access. And then the end is really before the end. So if I line this up like this, uh, and then you have to put the edge of the scale at it, it's pretty close to 100, um, which is what it's supposed to be, 10 centimeters, centimeters, or... Um, 100 millimeters. It's pretty darn close. It might be a half or a quarter off. I, you know, to be honest with you, I'd really have to get a magnifying glass to look at that close. I can't see it with just my reading glasses. So let's take, and there's also a ridge on here, which is really cool. I don't know if he intentionally did that. Uh, however, um, it rides. Now, it, the, the scale can ride on it. So this looks pretty much about the same, pretty much dead on to to 100, so that's good. The one house so far looking pretty good. 
And let's see if we can get this. The Y. And the Y looks it's a little like nerd down there. The Y is pretty close, maybe within a quarter of a millimeter uh, on the Y. So that all looks pretty good. Now, as we already saw, you know, because this is this is supposed to be 10, so I'm, ba <coughs> excuse me, I'm at 9.4. So it's supposed to be 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, uh, 2, and then 1. The 1 barely is printed here. However, the 1 actually is, is pretty nice in the Z-axis. So that, that's, that's pretty cool. Now, I did get some fill-in at the top here on this and I think it was because I ran this a little bit too hot. I don't know what do you guys think? Do you think that was from it was too hot? I think I'm going to try running this again and dropping the temperature by about five degrees. I ran this at 205 C. Um, the overall it came out very nice. Um, nice layering everything so um, very happy with it. This uh, and you know shows it in tight tolerance. The only one I think I'm going to look at is the Y. I think I'm going to do a little bit more experimentation with the Y. I think I might be able to change this up by by a step or two. Not very much. I think it's pretty close. I think I will later offline, off camera, get a, a magnifying glass and take a look at to see how close this really is. Because I think this is about a. Ha <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting over a cold again. Um, spend too much time on airplanes, um, but uh, I think it's like a ha maybe a half a millimeter in the Y, so I do need to take a closer look. So anyways, I'll put this model in the comments below. If you want to print it, you want to give it a try, I'd suggest it. I, I think it's really cool looking just to sit there. So uh, anyways, hey, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, a lot more coming. See you in the next one. Like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.